Hello everyone, this is Larry here. The following video, um, as I promised you before, I'll do a video about you know cleaning out the viruses, adwares and malwares on a safe mode. So there we are. I'm just going to show you quickly how do you get into the safe mode. Different computer has got different configuration and key buttons for the booting. So for me, uh, for this Dell computer, is I had to press F7. So you probably need to try F8 or F7 or F6 or escape. These are the buttons that takes you to this screen. From here on you can choose which mode you want to go. Save mode is safe mode, save mode with networking, save mode with command prompt, enable boot login and all this. You don't want to go there. We just go we just want to go to this safe mode. It's gonna take a bit of time while it loads up. <clears throat> So we are in a safe mode, as I said to you before, if you have not been in here before, you could see your computer, your computer looks completely different, it looks in 19, 19, 1995 computer, you know, with big logos and all these things, like Windows 95 was a little better than this one, so we, we just stick on to this one, okay, why does it look like, because it's a safe mode, and in safe mode you don't have a lot of access to a lot of programs, you can't run a lot of programs, because you're only limited few programs and you can only run few programs in a basic way so as I mentioned to you before you would need to run the once you're here you would need to run the software uh, that I mentioned to you before so where are we <sighs> gotta be somewhere anyway mm -hmm. so let's see if it's in the desktop Okay, it's here. Okay, so we need to run the adware clean and now bear in mind you would need to be patient. So if you run this one, um, run the adware cleaner first. Once this one is done, run the GRT. Once this is done, run the R kill. Once this is done, once you are done, then run the malware bite, which is right here. Um, yeah. So why? Okay, the question you'd be asking, why did I run it in a normal mode in the first place? That is important because you would need to run it in a normal mode, in a normal mode first. Uh, what that does, that will take, there are a few files and everything that runs in a normal mode. You need to get rid of that first because that's what is called the fair and standard um, virus scanning. So to be really sure and if you need, if you know that your computer has got a lot of hello computer uh, problem and, and viruses you need to run into safe mode safe mode is a lot better you get more access into the profiles and programs and folders and uh, that way you can uh, your, your software uh, antivirus software can get a lot better result than before so by all i mean is you will get more files scanned in a proper way in an appropriate way that there's a thing so once you've done that then you can run the JRT secondly which will ask you here to press the same thing that we just did it before um, and you can see once that one is done then you can run the R kill R kill will start the scanning as well so you just wait for it now these um, these are just the, the tutorial to show you how we get this done now I wouldn't be wondered because if you didn't find any file because I've already cleaned out this computer so we might not find any computer any file so um, uh, we go get rid of what we just bring it down you can see we got running three different applications here at the same time you do not have to do this you you know to get it run in better way run it once at a time I'm just showing you this just to save time, you know, just to save your time and video time, just to make the tutorial quick and uh, more um, useful. So you don't have to do this, you should not do this. The recommendation is, you know, to run this one by one after each other. Once you've done the first one, this one, then you do the second one, which is this one. 
and then you the last one you do the R kill. So every time you do this one, if we ask you to restart your computer, you you'd need to restart it and come back to the safe mode again. So when when you know when, to make sure you're here to to complete the process the procedure. So once you've done that one, uh, these three once these three has been done, then finally you would need to run the malware bytes because we run already this one before as well on this mode and in normal mode. You know, uh, as you can see here. Uh, show you the, the the scanning has been finished and i couldn't find any throat threads neither the the software because we already done this one we already cleaned it out so this is a good thing that we are free of uh, every virus and everything then you would need to run the um malware bytes and then you know pro you know but you need to do everything one by one you don't have to do it all in one way so that's not gonna work it will work but it's not recommended so you need to do it one by one everything see here the art the the RT is running as well uh, and it's checking everything why MSDOS but this way you can get access to more files and everything and even the malware bytes are running faster now because um, it's in a safe mode and you know there's more space and memory and everything that you can use so so yeah guys so this is how we get on with this one um once you, this one is finished you can just process that one as well um now i'm closing these because uh all of this has been done once before or twice before and the the result was awesome i couldn't get any better than this because computer runs fine and doesn't cause any problem you know you might find one or two threads or a few threads even after those because if you connect it to the internet then you will have chances of getting more threads if you don't have a full version of why antivirus that it protects your computer life so you would need to have one of those antivirus that can protect your computer life so either you buy them you know uh, online or from a store but that's very important because that will protect your computer every single minute that you're connected to internet so that's important so yeah guys so this is how we do the scan check and virus scan check in a safe mode and this is as i mentioned to you again and again this is a great way to get rid of the viruses malwares pop-ups ads and everything so this is a great way so if you never done this before do it and you'd be surprised with the results because this way is one of the um, finest way to get rid of the viruses I don't see that it can find any threads you can see here because uh, we cleaned this computer out before so we're good to go with this one so this tutorial was just to show you how we do in, in safe mode uh, so this is it guys you, you, you guys i hope you're gonna like this video and then share it and subscribe i've got the download link below for the files and software that i run to this one you can get it from the link below and um, please do share and subscribe thank you bye